Friday, ride day, not the hairs off my lines. It's a handful of side by sides going in for the Jim Horn Lake one, I'm sure. And so are we. It's gonna be a good day, boys. It's gonna be a good day. All the boys are here. Was that? Can you see my message? I post a message for someone to call me. Yeah, I just looked at it there. Oh, okay. I said to him, I said, I wonder if we should go in and see if you're in there. Uh, I, it, I came here early, early, just to make sure someone had gone in there. Yeah. And there was five or six side by sides. Oh, so right. if it wasn't beaten down, it will be when they get to you. How's it going, buddy? I haven't seen you in yeah, ages. See you, buddy. Yeah. Finally got out. Was, yeah. Man. Good. Nice. All righty. Three machines. We're off. are stuck back there by the looks of it. Hey y'all, this would be a great time for you to show your support. Like, subscribe, share. Your support is always appreciated. It'll take us a couple of minutes to get these two ATVs unstuck and turned around so we can head back out, regroup, and see where we go from here. Thanks for tuning in. Always appreciate it. So, uh, just walk it right there, where, uh, and we'll see. Okay. So just walk it right around. I am solidly on the bottom. I ain't going nowhere unless I winch. There's my free spool on this fucker. Holy shit. We are... It's a big snow drift there that came in off that little clear pond or whatever the fuck it is.
It's heavy down there too, isn't it? It's at the end there for it. A little water fluid. There's a lot down there too, way around there. It's, uh, yeah, you get a hill up there. There's a hill back there that's... Fuck this. Uh, fuck me. I'm not sure what to do. If uh, we're back to the road now, we're back to the Jeep. Well, we travel 4.3 kilometers. Well, Henry. Dean and I tried Taylor Drive way. That didn't work for us, so the boys went That's home. Fine. So I'm up brushy up by myself. Might not be the smartest thing. I'm gonna take a run up the road and see how it goes. If it goes good, I'll keep going. If it starts to get bad at all, I'm gonna turn around and come back. A few moments later. Have a good one, boys.
good note. <laughs> They're, they're having issues there. I just stopped trying to figure out which way was the best way to get to Brushy Hill. Snowmobile behind you. Watch yourself there. All right, he's pushing in. Oh, okay. If you go that way, right out like on the last trip, you know where I don't want to be up there and you want to be the way through? Sort of. I have a map there and stuff. I came in, but uh, I just want to make sure, like I said, who knows how much is going to change since. Uh, yeah. Since this morning when I came in. So. Yeah, if you go out here, there's a trail. You'll see it coming off here. Yeah. And once you take that trail across the Riverbank Road, that'll take you right to the 36 to bring you to Brusty Hill. Brusty Hill, okay, cool. Thanks, man. You're just going to watch that left from Brusty Hill with them. Okay. It'll probably be the more run trail. Yeah. So the other way doesn't really go anywhere. Right. So it'll probably be the most run trail. Yeah. Right on.
here. It helps really shape them up the other side too, so fingers crossed. I uh, manage this. performance of the machine, Maverick Sport XRC, if you're wondering, if you haven't uh, tuned into my channel before, and uh, those Maxxis Liberty tires are much better in the winter than I expected, much better, so, looks like these guys are just finishing up, or just going in one or the other. that success boys that was a good day's riding would have been nicer to have some people with you because it makes it a little safer but hey it is what it is glad I came out to brush a hill and uh, made a second go of it after getting turned around and trombone because the snow was too deep and crazy so here we are done <laughs>